It's about 10 degrees out right now. We've got our blue bulk bags in hand and it's time to go do hopefully a bulk deal for some video games. I've never been to this flea market before, but I was invited out here by a couple of viewers of the channel. So hopefully there are some deals to be made. All right, folks, just coming up here to press start video games. Looks like a pretty well-stocked booth. And I just met my new friends, Nicholas and Laura here, who are the owners of the booth and said, hopefully we'll be able to work out some solid deals for some of the inventory here. I'm gonna shoot some, some of the nicest numbers I can and see if we can uh, end up buying a decent amount of stuff. So let's just dive right into it. So one thing that's immediately catching my eye is I'm seeing in this case are a bunch of like generally lower dollar games that are actually factory sealed. You guys can see from Rise of Argonauts to like NFL head coach, all that kind of stuff. And I've found oftentimes that even shovelware, if it's in sealed condition, will sell pretty well for me on Amazon. So I'll definitely check out some of these titles. I mean, any game sealed for like five, seven, ten dollars is usually going to be worth looking up on Amazon. Ooh, that is super cool right there. Check that out. A Game Boy Advance video of looks like SpongeBob Volume 1 and 2. I may have to take a look at that. You blasted barnacle head! I mean, hi. Would you mind, could I take a look at these guys? Which one of the videos? Yeah, security strips and everything. These are super cool. 16 bucks, that's pretty good. 16 and 19. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull the trigger on these guys. I'll start a little stack over here. Where, where do you want it? Okay. And check this out right here. PlayStation 3 Move controller for 15 bucks. These things are stupidly spiked right now. Look at that. 59 after fees. It'll probably go down before I send it in, but I'll still pick both of these up. This is another one right here that does well on Amazon. The uh, PlayStation 3 iToy. Normally I like to be at like five bucks or under on this, but at eight bucks, we'll go ahead and throw it in. And this is another one that I just realized, 20 bucks on the uh, PS3 OEM controller here. I looked that up, look at that. After fees, 45, that's kind of crazy. So I'll pick those up as well. That's cool, yeah. Okay, 45 on that. I'll go ahead and take a look at that. Wii Remote Plus Pink. And yeah, it looks like it is still sealed in there. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't be too far off on that, looks like. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that on the pile. If you guys have been watching the channel a while, you know that the accessories section is pretty much like my home away from home. I just love digging through this stuff because there's a lot that just does really well on Amazon. Ooh, this guy right here may have some potential. Doesn't look like he has a sticker, but I believe that's like in the 20 or so range on Amazon. And check this guy out right here, for example. You can see this is an OEM Game Boy Advance link cable. And on Amazon, 28 after fees. This one also isn't priced, so we'll have to ask about that. And yeah, it looks like this guy should be 20 after fees as well. So let's see what we can get these guys for. So I found a couple that didn't have prices on them here. So I was just wondering what those would be. Those are pretty decent Amazon sellers. Oh yeah, definitely some potential in this little cabinet here as well. You don't see the uh, pink 3DS XL too much. 120 on that is not too far off of what I can normally pay. Would you mind, could I take a look at the DS lights and yeah, the regular 3DSs? Okay, they have chargers yeah, too. They all come with chargers. Great. Interesting. <gasps> Our lives are in your hands and you have butterfingers? They're in, uh, they're in charging <laughs> I thought that this was attached. Charging docks come with <laughs> that that have. would have been embarrassing. What I'm always looking for with these is just that they're in really nice shape so I can, huh, sell them in very good condition on Amazon. Is this a um, screen it, issue or does that just need to be wiped off? That needs to oh, be yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll put so these the guys stuff. on the stack as well. Oh, dang. Looks like they've got a good number of complete in box N64 games. That's something that you just don't see too much. And also NES here, 55, seems like a reasonable price for that. I don't know, I may look into a couple of these. These are the kind of things that would really spice up like a whatnot auction. So I might go ahead and pull the trigger on those. Don't worry, don't worry about the sticker price. If you seriously buy Skyland, uh -huh. I will give you a- really okay, You're looking to move them? Yeah, we've had oh, way dude, too long. you have no idea. Those yeah. cars? Well, the ones that are new in box can sometimes do pretty well for me. Those cars? Uh-huh. I have an entire case of them. Okay. Are they in storage? Uh, they're probably in storage. Okay. Well, well yeah, I'll definitely take a look at those then, because, yeah, if they're new. Is on property, so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll, I'm happy to take a look. They're not like super fast sellers or anything for me, but it's, you know, there's maybe some potential there since they're brand new in the package.
Looks like I can take some of these Skylanders off your hands. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know either. If anybody out there watching knows, on we're trying to figure out if this is sealed. Seems like a very fair price if it is, but this little strip here, I'm just not, I've never seen before. The rest of it, I mean, the Y folds look okay, yeah. Got a security strip there, and I just, I honestly don't know what to make of it. I'm I'm tempted to say it seems like it is, but I'm honestly not sure. I'll maybe, I'll maybe try to do some research and see. All right, so I'm looking at this eBay sold and it appears, you guys probably can't see it, but there is actually that same little strip there on this sold comp. So I, I, I'd be tempted, Nicholas, to say that it is authentic, especially given the sticker in the front here. That's what I was- I would say it probably is. Looks like, looks like it's priced about right. So I would, I would say, I, I think that's authentic. You don't have any um, like sealed Wii shovelware, do you? It's one thing I'm always on the hunt for. So you got Wii shovelware though. Those tend to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, good number. I, I was admiring your switch section here. Yeah. Very good. We have like four more in that. Case yeah, there's some that don't loose ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have like you know a whole six of them. There you go. So we're rolling in the switch. Three times bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. Oh, okay. Here's a little a little sealed section though that I can check out. Thirty-seven. Oh, interesting. So this game actually, wow, in used condition, that seems a little bit inflated to be honest. Not new condition listed, which probably means I can't sell it on Amazon. But I don't know, at 37, especially if they give me a little discount, I think I can swing that. What is this replay? 14 hot classics. So this one I can see I am approved to sell it in new condition on the Amazon seller app. But again, the lowest listing here is 35 bucks, which doesn't leave me a ton of room. Also the seal's kind of messed up there. I'll probably pass on that one. Ooh, Blocus, fun fact, this is actually my favorite board game. Nerd alert! But not my favorite game to flip, apparently. I've never seen that on PSP though, that's kind of cool. Dang, looks like that one is spiked right now for some reason. 33 after fees, 10 bucks, sweet. All right, folks, so we've got a whole number of stacks of sealed stuff out here that we're gonna be taking a look at, which is pretty exciting. It's cool to see such a large selection because sometimes that stuff just goes for like disproportionate prices on Amazon. So yeah, this one, they're selling it for 10. I could get 19, but it's such a slow seller that I'll probably pass. This one also $21. But yeah, folks, this one looks like because the sales rank is lower, it means it'll sell faster. So I will go ahead and pull the trigger on that one because it leaves me enough wiggle room with the price. Nicholas, I, I do have a question for you for the record because I get a lot of comments about this. And you can be honest about this. Do you get annoyed if, if I'm coming in here and like scanning stuff in front of you? No. Not at all? Not people do it. Really? They're either flipping or they want to make sure they're getting a good deal. That makes that, sense. No one wants to overpay. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people will, will see my videos and say, man, that, that's just really rude to be looking stuff up in front of people. And I'm like, I feel like it's fairly normal. It's pretty common. Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have people come in here and do it all the time. Well, you heard it here first, is, folks. Yeah. yeah. It's not necessary. I mean, there are probably some stores that may take it the wrong way, but a lot, most of the ones that I do business with are totally fine with it. We're all, we're all playing the same game here. 10 bucks on... Project Gotham Racing 2 is a good deal. That's going in the buy pile. This is the best one that I've found so far, actually. Uh, $15, and for some reason on Amazon, it's going for 45 after fees, so that's a great margin for me. This random Grand Slam Tennis 2 goes for around 20 after fees on Amazon, and they've got it priced at 12, so that's a decent deal. By the way, folks, go a little bit easy on my hair right now. I was trying to keep my hat on for this whole video because I'm a little bit ashamed of it. Let's point and laugh. It's just, it, what can I say? It's it's in an awkward phase, okay? Give me, give me a few weeks. All right, he found six more for the stack here. Whoa. Have you guys ever seen something like this? A Wii Sports bowling ball? I cannot imagine how many TVs something like this has wrecked. Nice shot. Whoa. Mama! 
And this is another thing that tends to do fairly well for me is like bundle dual packs or triple packs or whatever on honestly a lot of different systems. This one is $7, which is a very reasonable price because these games individually go for a few bucks, like not very much at all. But check this out on Amazon, $28 after fees. That's just, that's crazy. Oh man, that's super nostalgic for me. Does anyone else remember the Brunswick Zone? Did anyone live near one of those? Do they still exist? All right, so here's an interesting case. Hasbro Family Game Night. Nice and complete, like I like to see, 12 bucks. This one is $16 after fees, which is definitely below the margins that I normally look for. But two other things factor into my mind about this purchase. One is they said, hopefully they can get me a little bit of a bulk discount at the end of this purchase. And also, this is the first time that I've ever been out to Nicholas's flea market booth here. And I always want to leave a really good first impression when I'm doing bulk deals with vendors that I might buy from in the future. So I'm willing to push my margins a little bit thinner just so that I can leave a really good impression with these guys and hopefully give them a solid payday as well because you guys know on some of these other items I'm getting a solid payday myself. Folks this is kind of a new bolo for me you guys know I'm always sharing my new finds on here. $34 for $25 after fees for this game on Amazon and look at that priced at $10. Let's go. I did not think this would be a valuable game. Also in the Wii stack, Mario All-Stars, Jurassic the Hunted, and Zelda Twilight Princess. How much do you have on this uh, little GameCube case down there? Yeah. Excellent. I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. I can't, I can't say no to a dollar. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Look, it's got like. Is it a plug and play? Cards. No, it's a three it's my original Xbox controller. What? Game Star? Oh, Gamester. If you ever needed a case for Game Boy Micro? We've never seen a Game Boy Micro. Whoa! <laughs> That's really cool. A little belt yeah, clip looks it like. Goes, yeah, it goes on your belt. Freaking for ease of access. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> right next to your Blackberry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your pager. I bet your this thing's cool though. What's the What's the story behind this? I have no idea. I, it's It's just a. It it's, came in. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I mean, I'll do some research on that for sure. I've never. I can't remember ever coming across I think it one. It goes to like a certain game. I, I don't remember. All right, so this over here is where things get interesting. This is the fancy case with the high dollar games. I'm going to see, I think actually on this top shelf, the uh, Resident Evil might be within my price range. So that's exciting. Yeah, because it's in very good condition at 45, I'll have a little bit of wiggle room on that one on Amazon. So we'll go ahead and put that in the pile. Ooh, this one down here is interesting. Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. 43 is actually not bad. Oh, shoot. If that was complete, I definitely would pick that up. Ooh, I spy a couple of interesting games up here. One, the Crude's Prehistoric Party. Actually pretty uncommon on the Wii U. 30 bucks. I'll have to look that one up. Also, Jeopardy. Somewhat uncommon game as well. 31. Yeah, we'll look both of those up and see. All right. Looks like I'd be getting around 30 as well. So we'll pass on that. And looks like same story on the crudes. Well, can't say we didn't try. All right. So this right here is an interesting case. Scooby-Doo Cyber Chase. 10 bucks. Pretty standard price. Not a super valuable game, but on Amazon... The lowest price also is $10, but it's coming up for me as 50 because that's the lowest FBA offer. You can see I have to scroll down super far to find anything that is uh, sold under Prime, which is a good sign for me. I don't know if I'll for sure be able to sell this for 50, but it should definitely be well over 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. This is one I haven't bought before. Complete Xena Warrior Princess, 15 bucks. Should go 432 after fees. Pretty nice. All right, this is one of those rare times I actually will buy something that's not complete. For some reason, Barnyard is just one of those games that goes for a silly amount on Amazon. I should be able to get around $40 after fees for this, and it's only 17. Now, this is something you don't see every day. Folks, I'm telling you, the random accessories. 10 bucks on that, looks like. Yeah, pretty solid on Amazon. That's what I like to see. All right, I think I'm just about ready to uh, cash out here. Okay. All right, folks, here are the stacks that we ended up with. We are calculating the total damage as we speak. We'll see what the price tag ends up being. 
And folks, as they're getting this stuff tallied up over here, a lot of you guys know my boss here on YouTube is Al the Algorithm. And he's kind of been on my case recently because apparently only 29% of people who watch this channel are actually subscribed. So if you are one of those people you've been watching regularly and haven't checked to see if you're subscribed, definitely check because you may actually be surprised by the results. That definitely helps me out and gets Al off my back. Folks, I was just considering this Sega Nomad here. Not something you see every day. It's just slightly out of my price range, but if anyone's looking for one, you can find it here at Press Start Games. Did anybody else play these McDonald's tiny little, what are, the, what are these kinds of, I do not know what these screens are called. You guys are gonna have to let, let me know in the comments, but flashback to the days when McDonald's actually gave out video games in Happy Meals. <laughs> yeah, I had some Sonic ones. Thumb busting, hard kicking fun. Sega handheld games are now at McDonald's. There's one in every Happy Meal. Get happy. All right, folks, they've got a total for me. What's the damage? All right, so our total before a discount is going to be $1,051.52. All right, we broke one grand, folks. That's that's a good day. That's a mission accomplished for me. So what all, did you tally the uh, discount as well? Um, yeah, yeah, we're getting that now. The suspense is killing me. $893.79. All right, perfect. Well, that is very generous and uh, I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, let's go ahead and run it. That saves you $148. $148 discount. Love it. Well, folks, I had 800 something dollars into all of this stuff and uh, Nicholas, one of the workers at the store, asked me how much I thought I would be able to make on all of this stuff and I was totally honest. I said, asked me, asked me how much he thought that I would be able to make on all of this stuff and I was totally honest with him. I said, I think I should be able to safely net north of $500 so it was worth coming out on this 10 degree day. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip.